I'm Keep Going Cat, and this is a full body home workout. For this workout, you will need a yoga mat and a set of dumbbells and a sturdy chair. Starting off with a warm up, you're going to be doing 30 mountain climbers. Plant those hands, get your knees all the way up into your chest. Each time your foot taps is one. Moving on to 10 jumping jacks, arms stretch all the way above your head, jumping out as wide as you can with every rep. Then place your hands on the back of your neck, drop it down low for 10 prisoner squats. Here you're going to get booty to the bucket, so drop it as low as you can. Squeeze your glutes at the top of every rep. Repeat this warm up three times and then grab your set of dumbbells for the weighted portion. First move shown are going to be bicep curls. So you're starting with the wrist facing up, bring the weights all the way down and all the way back up with every rep with full extensions. Use a weight that feels heavy, but you can still complete all three sets of 10. Hold the weights down at your side for reverse lunges. You're doing 10 reps on each side for three sets, stepping back one to two feet as far as you can, getting that knee to where it can almost touch the ground. Then you're going to be repeating that for 10 reps on each side. Take a quick rest in between your sets and then do a total of three sets of 10 on each leg. No, I wanted none of this shit. You see some problems and run from the shit. I wouldn't quit. I never go through all my Moving on to bent rows, starting with wrists down, rotate and pull back using your triceps. So here, when you pull back, use force as you pull back, keeping your elbows pinned into your side. You can see that I'm rotating, so my wrists start down and then I rotate so they come to my side for three sets of 10. Moving on to a Romanian style deadlift. So here you're going to have a slight bend in the knee, run those dumbbells down along your shins and then come up and squeeze. Make sure you focus on keeping your shoulders back throughout and don't curl your, your back forward. Nice tight core throughout. You're going to exhale as you come up and squeeze your glutes at the top. Next up, we're going to be doing an ab circuit. You're going to be repeating this according to your level listed on the schedule, starting with 30 model abs, alternating and extending the legs, bringing that knee all the way into the chest with every rep. And your legs straight up, arms go all the way back above your head and then reach and tap those toes. Arms go all the way back with every rep. Focus on drawing your core in as if somebody's pulling on the back of your belly button with a string into your spine. You don't want to have your belly pooch out while you're doing these. Moving on to lying leg lifts, extending the legs all the way up and all the way back down, trying to keep your legs as straight as possible throughout. Repeat this circuit according to your level and then we are going to move on to the booty blaster circuit. With this, you are also going to be repeating this according to your level. Starting off with 10 side lying abductions. So here you're going to plant onto your forearm, push into the knee and then open your legs as wide as you can with every rep. You wanna be feeling this in the bottom glute and here you're pressing into the knee with every rep. So you're not just opening your legs but lifting the hips up and then opening your hips with every rep. Moving on to 20 reps on each side of dirty dog raises. Here, make sure you're really focusing on your mind to muscle connection, almost squeezing and tensing your glute as you do this. Don't just move your hip up and down. Make sure you're nice and slow and controlled throughout this motion. You're doing this for 20 reps on each side. Moving on to donkey kicks, so with a flex leg, flex foot, kick back up as high as you can with every rep, feeling your glute engage at the top of every rep. Baby, I'm lost. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. 
grab a sturdy bench or chair for 10 reps of feet elevated bridges. So scoot your hips as close to the bench as you can get them, plant your feet, press your hips up and squeeze your glutes at the top. Focus on squeezing your glutes both up and down. So on the eccentric motion, as you're coming back down, don't lose the tension in your glutes. Try to hold the tension throughout this entire 10 reps. Thank you for watching. Like and comment on this video if you plan on trying this workout.